In this video, I'll show you how to connect your custom domain to system.io panel using Namecheap. But if you are using other hosting services like GoDaddy, the process is still the same, all right? And uh, you need to do this before you start creating your funnels and stuff like that. So please pay attention and I'll show you what to do step by step, all right? And if this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. All right, so let's get straight into the video. So for those of you who don't know, System.io has a free plan. So I'll put the link in the description box. But I would advise you to upgrade later because uh, if not, you'll be limited to the things that you can do on this platform, okay? Up here to your avatar and click on it. The arrow down, settings. Then on your left, click on custom domains. All right, so I have nothing here. So far, the only thing I have is the email address connected to this uh, system.io. So by default, system.io will use your email address name as your subdomain. So that's why it's always good to connect your own domain because with this, it's not good for email marketing. All right, so I'll show you how to connect it. So to connect your own domain, click on add domain. So I'm gonna enter the name of my domain. Or oh, actually you want me to add a WW. Because I use Builder all and you don't need to add the WW, but it's all right. Every platform is different, so click save. So these are the records we're gonna be using. All right, so now we have to go to Namecheap. So I'll go to Namecheap. And like I said, you can use any. So as you can tell, I have a private email or business email connected to this because I bought it here. System.io, I don't have that option right now. So you do have to buy one wherever you're going to buy your domain, all right? So click on manage. Okay, so now I'm going to go to advanced DNS. We're going to delete all these records. So delete this. Yes. Delete this. Because we don't need them. We don't need them. All right, then you add new record, T name. So here, just type www, go back, all right? Then you're gonna copy this. Right click, copy, go back. So that is the target. Paste it and click save changes. All right, so we're gonna add another one. See name record and now we're gonna go back and we're gonna copy everything before the dot your domain name okay right click copy go back here right click paste and click on this then copy everything right click copy right click paste then check it it's all done and what do you have to do next all right so now we're gonna go to a private site to check the dns so we're gonna go back here actually let me just copy this because we're gonna need it right click copy go back so it's called dnschecker.org so click on it right click paste and click on this C name and click search. All right, let's add www dot search. Oh, okay. All right, so you saw what happened. So I, I forgot to add the www. So, because remember right here, I entered the www and I forgot to do that. Some places like Pudao and other system i've used you don't need to enter that okay so once everything is green check it means your domain is active inside system.io okay as you can tell everything is checked so these are your propagation maps all right for people living in this area so this is going to save all these areas and in europe you can see a lot all the way to australia new zealand and in Africa, we have South Africa. Everything is good. So we're going to go back to, and I'm going to close this. All right, so we're going to refresh. And it's saying it's pending validation. So what will happen is when all this is done, 
it's gonna be ready to use okay so give yourself like 24 to 48 hours so don't rush it to you know put something on your site but in most cases within uh within an hour to three hours it should work but hey i can't guarantee that okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'll ask you to subscribe now i'll show you how to connect your private email address to this system because you need that before you can run email marketing campaign you can use gmail yahoo or hotmail to set up your email campaign that's not the right way to do it you need a private email address as of now you cannot create private email inside system.io so you need to buy it from wherever you bought your domain from like in my case i bought mine from namecheap and there are a lot of tutorials on how to do that so once you have your email address purchased come back here on your avatar click on the arrow down settings then go to mailing settings sender email address so you're going to enter your sender email address here sender name your name or your brand name then your test email whenever you send campaigns you're going to receive a copy just for you to know that it's working on that and leave this alone okay once you have this let this be and display my affiliate link at the end of each email so people will receive your emails with uh, your system affiliate link you can turn it off all right but it's okay so i'll just get into it all right so send the name so i'm using brand name instead of a personal name but it's up to you then i'll use my gmail for testing because i don't want to be going into my private email to be checking emails or like every time and even that it's gonna get full quickly all right so i'll leave everything the way it is i'll scroll down the unsubscribe please don't take this off okay you need it all right then you select your language depending on what you want english french spaniel italia russia and the list goes on so when everything is done click save you see mailing settings has been updated successfully which means i've entered correct information all right so that's how you set up your private email address inside system.io but like i said don't forget to buy your private email address and don't use gmail or yahoo you need business email address or private email address or your professional email address all right so in my next video i'll show you how to set up your email campaigns like this video subscribe so that you don't miss my next video all right so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe to this channel until next time take care and have a wonderful day bye for now